We are live. NAB 2019 via BSW TV, via HDV Mixer. And we are brought to you by, well, I'm the sponsor guy, I guess. Uh, OC White, uh, low profile, high profile, and any profile boom arms and stands that you have counted on for over 100 years. This is the new one, it's pretty cool. Sure, legendary microphones we're using right now, legendary performance. What other mic and hammer a nail? Hmm. Audio-Technica, if it's good enough for the Olympics, it's good enough for you, headsets, headphones, microphones, oh my. And we're brought to you by, well, we're not really, but I'm just gonna <laughs> say it's Sling Studio. Uh, we're with Michael McGee from Sling. Now, you know a lot of people don't understand what this box is yet. What, this doesn't tell you everything you need to know <laughs> right here? But uh, we made a video about your product at bswusa.com. You did. And uh, I was blown away by the technology. I actually stole a lot of content from your company video just to get my head wrapped around right. what this thing does. So for people who don't know what Sling Studio is, a lot of people know what Slingbox is because it's right. the same company. Uh, can you give us a, a you know, just like your, sure. your basic Sling explanation? The, the thumbnail sketch, yeah. if you will. Um, or you can go deeper, it's okay. I'll, I'll do both. It, it, people you either know the name Sling from the Slingbrock products from 12, 15 years ago, or the current Sling TV product. All uh, current technologies and divisions owned by Dish Network who owns this. But the Slingbox technology which put TV uh, uh, applications up on the internet for you to, to access remotely is sort of the core of the development of, of this product. But it's primarily a video production hub that will allow you to connect uh, up to 10 devices uh, wirelessly and make your own multi-camera video production streaming hub. So it really, it, you know, it says studio, it really is a studio in a box. It is, it's got um, this nice line down the middle is the power indicator, but it is also split into two personalities. It has two Wi-Fi network connections inside here. One creates a peer-to-peer -peer network to cameras and phones to capture your videos. So um, I think it's a little misunderstood. A lot of people think that streaming is all that it does. It also records. So you can record onto an SD card slot here on the side of the box. What's the capacity of a card like that for all that video? It'll, it can go up to um, a 512 uh, gigabyte card, so it could be hours of video. Um, and it allows you to give uh, a, a professional pre-produced uh, production value to your videos. A lot of people will, will live stream from a phone or a GoPro with one camera angle and Boring. no production value. Yeah, nobody wants to watch that. Yeah. Um, this will allow you to run a multi-camera production, record it and stream it, and drive it all from an iPad. The iPad will control your workflow. It gives you video preview screens, you drag and drop to change camera angles. It's a cool app. And probably the most exciting for our biggest um, vertical markets right now, our House of Worship and Education K through 12, is you don't need a high-end camera to use for this. You can certainly do that, but you can also use phones. Any iOS? Does an or, iPhone look pretty uh, decent? Uh, it, I mean, it did on, on the demo version. It does, it looks extremely well. Um, the only limitation to phones are they don't go quite as far away from the hub as cameras will with a secondary device need to call it camera length. So how far away can you uh, a broadcast? A, a phone can go about 100, 100 to 150 feet away from the hub. Holy crap. A camera <laughs> with a camera link can go about 300 feet away. So needless to say, high school football games love this technology because you can have this at the 50 yard line broadcast booth, cameras at each end zone, and students in the stands capturing video as well. And whoever's directing your, your project can decide what they want to bring into their workflow. Um, but we, um, great. one of the fun things about Sling Studio, I think your, uh, your audience will appreciate, is it's not just a piece of hardware, it's software driven and uh, firmware driven, and we don't sell subscriptions or software, uh, we are a hardware company, and we provide some features and advantages on each firmware update we do, and we don't charge for them. We added chroma key, green screen capabilities to this last year, and education loved it. Yeah. Um, in some of your channels, in broadcast and podcasting, we uh, added a feature that'll allow you to time each camera before it switches angles, so your on-air talent like yourself don't have to try and manage camera angles and talk and chew gum all at the same time. Yeah, we don't do that very well. <laughs> 
Exactly, I can't feature. do it. <laughs> I can barely write, so. Um, yeah, and, and those features have been added on, in subsequent firmware updates, and uh, it's been real exciting. But um, what we're finding is, is whether it's, uh, it's education or broadcast or, or corporate training, uh, people are starting to see the value of streaming, but probably more importantly, realize the value of uh, production uh, and going into it. Um, but wanting something simplistic to use. You have, um, you have schools and, uh, and house of worship entities that, that have volunteers running the boards. They're not big video experts. Right. And they can learn the workflow on an iPad very quickly. Um, and it integrates really well, like I said, with the existing phones that people are using to capture stuff right now. Now, battery-wise? Yeah, there's an, this plugs into an AC outlet. It has an accessory battery that'll mount on the bottom of it uh, and run this hub for up to three hours. Um, no each, matter how many cameras you are No, that to, doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't have any influence. Effects. Okay. Any camera that needs to connect to this has to do so through a device called a camera link, and it mounts on a hot shoe on top, and it has about a two hour battery in it. Oh, okay. And that creates the, the wireless link between the two. It Got can it. be a, a bit confusing. A Wi Fi enabled camera will not connect to this, it still needs to utilize the camera link. But okay. as I said, that, that can work up to 300 feet away and do some pretty impressive things. You, I've seen a lot of people in corporate uses do this too. It, it'll work off of a laptop, so if you have a PowerPoint presentation you want to review, a lot of people will have a remote guest they want to Skype in, you can integrate that into your workflow real easily, so. Wow. But exciting and portable, so. Yeah, you, I, I just can't believe that you've packed everything into this That, the, the camera links, I didn't bring them with me, but they are only about this big, and I've had like, several customers. Yeah, about the size of a two pack of playing cards stuck together. But I've had many customers that do remote broadcast that'll put an entire two camera shoot into a backpack with a tripod, this hub, and batteries, and it's, it's just really remarkable. Um, when you upload and stream live, you can connect to a, a pretty good wireless network, or you can even use LTE hotspots hmm. and be pretty much totally, totally mobile with this thing, so. Interesting. Anybody can be on TV now. Uh, pretty much. I think, uh, I think uh, there's a little company called YouTube that's made quite, yeah. a, quite a good living out of yeah. that prospect. And then you can do this anywhere now. Yeah, pretty much is, anywhere. That's the cool part. And um, again, you can do that with the phone in your pocket, yeah, but, but it's, it's going to be limited. That's why you're pretty much better off with a 30 second clip. Uh, people's attention span with video, if it's not moving, tends to get <laughs> lost after a few seconds. So. Yeah. Oh, it's just a great product. and. Uh, you guys have done a fantastic job. Oh, thanks, Mike. We appreciate it. You guys are good supporters. Uh, we're really, really proud to be part of uh, BSW. I think they put together a deal. Did you they, know? they did. Yeah, there's a $150 discount if you purchase the hub, which retails for $9.99, and the camera link, which retails for $13.49 together through the end of the week through uh, through BSW. So it's a, it's a pretty good value. Operators are standing by. <laughs> Uh, you can go to bswusa.com or actually 800-426-8434 uh, the old fashioned way. There you go. Really nice to meet you Michael McGee and uh, thanks again for bringing by this really cool product. Great, thanks for having me. All Enjoy right. the rest of the show. we Will do. We are live from NAB 2019 bswusa.com. Who do we have coming up? Let's see. Ah, the people from Sennheiser. They have a lot of cool stuff too. So we'll be back in about a half an hour. Hi folks, Mike West here for BSW. Wheatstone, best described in the radio and TV industry as innovative, quality, bulletproof, <laughs> bad ass, and the standard for which all others attempt to achieve. Building on that legacy comes these new monsters. Behold. PRE's first audio over IP networkable console 
the DMX by Wheatstone. Utilizing a WheatNet IP protocol based network and engine, the DMX is the first PRNE console to offer audio over IP networking and expansion, giving the user speed and flexibility to have a complete self contained setup and the ability to add on without the need for an external switch. So let's check out the shiny new metal. DMX consoles come in two flavors, 8-channel and 16-channel. DMX puts a lot of radio control into a very small footprint. If you're familiar with Wheatstone's IP infrastructure, utilizing the Blade engines, PRNE took a cue from its big brother to bring you razor engines. Clean with a rinse and a shake. Result, a great shave. No, no, silly editing guy. These razors. The DMX is chock full of radio-centric features. Operates as a standalone production or on-air console with local inputs and outputs. Five-port Ethernet switch built into PRNE mix engine. No need for an external switch. Wheatnet IP protocol with one gigabyte connectivity. Four program output buses. Four event buttons for recalling entire console setups at the touch of a button. Talk back, 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 back. And cue functions. Built-in timer. Six logic I.O. ports for network control. And much more. Well, there you have it, folks. PRE. For more information, or if you want to live on the razor's edge with PRE, shoot us an email or give us a call. BSW is here to cut the gobbledygook. The folks here are really sharp when it comes to radio slashing the competition that's bsw getting right to the point don't cleaver us yet we still have some more information well hi there and welcome to another episode of bsw versus the dump button where we pit real BSW employees against tongue twisters designed to get your station a big fat FCC fine. So let's put that dump button to good use, shall we? Now, for radio, the dump button or profanity delay, I'll tell you, it's really f <laughs> bitch and fool. Oops, <laughs> dump button time is a life and money saver. Catching that four letter word just in time is an art. <laughs> well, actually, it's kind of a skill. Now, today, since we have none, we're going to pit BSW against the dump button. Hi there, I'm your host, Mike West. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. And welcome to BSW versus the dump button. Let's meet today's contestant. Hi, and uh, who are you? I'm Brian Seeley. I'm the director of marketing for BSW. And what do you do? Oh, no, you already yeah, told That's what I do. I, I direct the marketing. <laughs> that was like, I was just playing the uh, interviewer that doesn't listen to yeah. the person who's interviewed. <laughs> How long have you been here, Brian? Seven years. Yeah. Everyone has been here for such a long time. Well, it's you know that bodes well for a company. They don't, uh, you know, they don't kick us out unless we, we really screw up, like cursing on camera. There's time. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, you know how this game works. Yes, I do. Because you invented it. Yes, but go. I didn't invent it. I I ripped it off from somebody, which we will credit probably somewhere along here later. Yeah. But why don't you explain it for? All right. So yeah. here's what happens. Uh, we will read a tongue twister slowly, and then you will read it quickly. Three times. Okay. If you get through the tongue twister without saying something that uh, causes us to push the dump button, you get to pick from the warehouse mystery box of prizes. I can't wait. I know. I know it's in that box. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here is your tongue twister, Brian. All right. Sitting ships sit like sitting ships, sitting shifting ships shift like shifting ships shifting. Then ships that sit sit like sitting ships sitting. Brian? You ready? Nope. Okay. Here we go. Sitting ships sit like sitting ships sitting. Sifting ship <laughs> like. Oh, oh. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, there it is. Sorry. We had to hit the dump button. That's okay. That's okay. That was fun. Want to try it again? <laughs> sure. Really? Oh, yeah. Let's do it again. Okay. That, that was horrible. That okay. was a horrible All effort. right. Uh, I got to make it through at least we once. We got to get rid of the crap that's in okay. that box. I know. Let's do it again. Okay. Here we All go. Right, go ahead. Uh, 